Hello everyone and uh, uh, happy Friday. Uh, we thought we would brighten up your day a little bit by giving you the first sneak preview on uh, what we're working on in EC Design 4 which will be launched in uh, just a couple of weeks. <clears throat> and today I'm going to show you a little bit on the drawing process, how you create your rooms and create walls etc. And I've started up EC Design, EC Design 4 and if you're a current user, you s directly see that it's a brand new interface. But you also do recognize yourself because we've kept a lot of the good things from Easy Design 3. Uh, so it will be a smooth uh, transfer upgrade to the new software. Uh, for new users uh, that will start using Easy Design, uh, you will get a good uh, good view on how easy it actually is to create your uh, layouts and floor plans. Um, and like I said, today I'm giving you a sneak preview of the wall process and creating rooms. To create a, uh, a wall and create uh, an entire room, what you do is you click on the draw wall icon and then you go out into the 2D grid. We've added an X marker to help you easily find a zero zero point. And uh, to create a wall, you just click one time and move your mouse in any direction. And you get the measurements, of course, and it's very easy to see that. Uh, we've made some uh, adjustments, and uh, so if I zoom in, the ruler system gets more detail. So now it's uh, 0 0.5 meters because I'm using the meter uh, unit today. But of course, it's international, so you can use uh, empirical units as well. And if I zoom out, it changes to two meter sections. So you always see the ruler clearly. And if I want to create a wall that's 14 meters, it's kind of nice because it snaps to the grid always, to the intersections of the grid. And if I click again, it stops and creates that wall. If I would like to create another wall and I want it to be 8.3 meters, I don't have to manually create the wall. I just type in 8.3 and hit enter and it creates that wall, 8.3 meters. And when I'm creating a room, if I click one more time here and I get closer to the second, uh, to the first wall, you'll see I get a red marker. So it shows that I'm online with the, with the first wall that I created. So I'm going to click there and finish, when I finish it off, snaps together like that and we have the first room and you easily see the measurements and the information even if I zoom out it's easy to read what the the measurements are on the walls etc uh, also what you see uh, is the neons the pattern of the floor color uh, which is kind of nice so if you have multiple flooring types it's easy to see what type of floor you have in that that room and or that area uh, if I would like to create a second room, I just click on the draw wall icon again. Click somewhere to start creating my wall. And then it encloses and I have a second room here. Now you don't have to show the wall colors. You have a, you can unmark to show that or not, but I, I kind of like that feature. Uh, I can uh, click on a wall, any wall, and I get a wall properties, a wall menu. Uh, with a lot of uh, settings here, like floor height, ceiling height, length of the wall. I can change the thickness. I can choose not to show, show the baseboard. I can change the baseboard height. I can hide a wall. I can curve a wall. I can change material on both sides of the wall because it says A and B here, and then you have A and B on the wall that I clicked on. Uh, and it's very easy to do these changes. If I want to curve a wall, I just click on Curve and I press down my left mouse button and move up or down and it curves. Very nice, smart little feature. Uh, if I'd like to hide the wall, I just click on hide and it disappears. And we'll bring it back again. So for instance, if this room I would like to remove the wall, I do that. We'll remove this wall as well because maybe I just want an open area with two types of floor. Then I can do that. If I click on the room, I can change uh, the ceiling height, 
So I can have a different ceiling height in this area. I can have a different floor height. I can decide not to show, or if I want, I can uh, show the ceiling, so you can hide or unhide it. Uh, I can hide all walls at one time. I can change the ceiling material and also the floor material, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can also change the name of the room very quickly. So if this is a fitness layout, I could call this cardio area. I can, of course, do a lot of changes in real time. You have a complete undo redo feature, which is also nice. Uh, well, this was the little sneak preview view that we wanted to give you on Easy Design 4 and on uh, the wall creation process and room room process. And uh, we'll probably post a couple more videos once we get closer to the launch. And we hope you liked it so far.